Hello to everyone who is interested in growing figs. October has come and in many regions the time for planting figs has begun. Therefore, today I want to talk about my experience of planting figs with simultaneous installation, underground and ground irrigation equipment, which is very important in dry, hot regions. The soil in my garden is not very good, so I use a special technology. I drag a rather large pit in advance about 70 cm in diameter and depth of the pit at about 60 cm. At the bottom of the pit I pour drainage. This is a layer of rubble several centimeters thick. Expanded clay can be used instead of crushed stone. Now we need a tube with a diameter from 16 to 20 mm. The tube must be strong and rigid so that it retains its shape even under the weight of the soil. I cut off about 3 meters of tubing. One end must be closed. Then, starting from the closed end, I drilled through holes and the tube with a thin drill for a length of about one and a half meters. After that, from the perforated part of the tube, I form a ring with a diameter slightly smaller than the diameter of the duck pit in its lower part. I secure the ring with nylon cable ties. Then I lower our pipe into the pit and fix the perforated ring on top of the rubble layer with the metal brackets. The free part of the tube comes out of the pit and is attached above it. After that, the lower part of the tube is covered with a layer of rubble. As a result, the lower perforated ring will not come into contact with the soil anywhere and the water from the tube will easily exit through the holes. After that, we need a soil mix, which I make from five components, as described in my previous video. I completely cover the rubble layer with soil mix.
Then I also add the charcoal that remains after sifting the wood ash needed to make the soil mix. Now it's time to look at our fig seedling. I grew it from a cutting to which I was rooted and grafted at the same time this winter. The sun is a variety of Brazilian fig. A rootstock is a cutting of one of the local old varieties with great growth force and powerful root system. Yes, the young rootstock really has powerful roots. In addition, it provided a good accretion with the scion. By the way, the place of grafting can be still determined. I grew figs on a trellis in the form of a flat cordon, therefore I place the ceiling with a strong slope. I fix the trunk on the trellis, add soil mix to the peat and place the root system at a suitable depth. Then I fill the roots with soil mix. Wow, I see that the correctness of my work is controlled by a small neighbor, so I will try to do everything right. Well, the roots are covered. I hope that my work will be successfully accepted by the little neighbor, with whom we will wait together for the first harvest. I have two watering my ceiling from a watering can, and I can proceed to the next step installing a soil irrigation system. Installation begins with the preparation of holes in the main pipeline, using a special perforator. Then I insert plastic connectors in the thin connection tubes. Connectors are inserted in the holes in the main pipe. Now is the turn off for legged spider dripper.
I'll take two spiders and put a dispenser in each of them. The performance of the dispenser is selected depending on the climate, the water pressure in the pipe and the needs of the irrigated plants. Now spiders with dispensers are connected to thin connection tubes. I want to check the system and now open the water supply. Yes, everything works. Water is fed into the legs of the spiders and into the sharp tips. Of the eight spider legs, I choose two and insert them into our tube, which goes underground to the bottom of the landing pit. So water will flow into deep horizons and moisten the roots from below. The remaining six legs are evenly distributed over the surface of the planting pit around the ceiling. So, installation is complete. In my experience, such a system of watering figs from below and above gives very good results in the hot Israeli summer. Now, all I have to do is hang a sign with the name of the variety. And then cover the soil surface with mulching material and lower the protective mesh. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And together we will watch the growth and ripening of wonderful Israeli figs.